Right, Shalom, Yashar, and staff, Source by giving all praise to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. The Balonis, Puzzle GMS, and honors to you both that are doing the work in truth, wa, sincerity. Just want to uh, do this real quick one. Right, it's mainly on this point here in Revelations 2 and 9. So it reads, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And it's that, but thou art rich here that I want to get into. Right, in case, you know, it trips anyone up. You know, because, uh, you know, we, we use the scripture nowadays to apply to, um, you know, the so-called Jews. Because it goes on saying, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but of the synagogue of Satan. Right, but you might get tripped on and say, um, you know, because it, it talks about tribulation and poverty, which is what Jake goes to. Jake is poor, right, but we're rich through the scriptures, uh, you know, and the understanding of this word and the wisdom that we've been given, right, because all Esau's riches were gained in wickedness, right. So let me, uh, you know, I just did a, a word search for rubies and riches, and this is what I found, right. This is Job 28 and 8, right says no mention shall be made of coral or of pearls for the price of wisdom is above rubies but he's saying wisdom is above rubies and the next couple more or less say the same thing right um says psalm 37 16 says a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked right so if, you, if you're a righteous man you haven't got a lot you 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 know that's better than you know, you know, a multitude of wicked people have loads of riches, man. Because like I said, a multitude of wickedness, they're going to pay for their wickedness, in, you know, with blood. You know, the Lord is going to destroy them. But if you're righteous and you please the Lord, the Lord shall save you. So their righteousness, I mean, their riches didn't save them. But you and your poverty and your understanding of these scriptures, you got saved. Right, it says Proverbs 3.15, says she is, uh, would you call it more precious than rubies? And all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Right, so well, in fact, let me start from 13. It says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof of fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Right, it says, Proverbs 8 and 11. So, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all things that may be desired or not to be compared to it right because you know look at uh, king saul he prayed to the lord for for wisdom and knowledge and the lord gave him all of these other things the carnal desires of the world right and and with wisdom right you ain't would you call it you uh you do right by the by the by the laws of the lord you know and if it please the most high he'll bless you for it and right, says Proverbs twenty fifteen says there is gold and the multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. And once again reiterating the same point. Right, it says wisdom seven and seven. It says wherefore I prayed and understanding was given given me. I called upon the Most High and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her bef before scepters and thrones and esteemed riches nothing in comparison of her. Right, and it says and scepters and thrones is wisdom was better to him than being a king. It says, Neither compared I unto her any precious stone, because all gold in respect of her is as a little sand, and silver shall be counted as clay before her. Right? King Solomon basically, uh, what do you call it, uh, expounding on just how much wisdom is worth. Thus I loved her above, above health and beauty, and chose to have her instead of light. For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. Right, so riches come and riches go, but wisdom, that's constant, that stays, right? It says, all good things cut together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hands. And I rejoiced in them all because wisdom goes before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. I learned diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches, right? So when you get the wisdom, man, you're supposed to share the wisdom. Right, if you see your brother going up, say, hey, hey, brother, don't don't be doing that, man. He's going off. Right, so it says, uh, verse 14, For she is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use, which they that use become the friends of God, being commended for the gifts that come from learning. Right, it says, For she is a treasure unto men that never faileth. And I'm reiterating the point that I made about how 
you know the the, the wisdom that's that's never gonna fail you as long as you stay in its path stay with it as is wisdom 8 and 5 says if riches be a possession to be desired in this life what does richer than wisdom that worketh all things this is Sirach 40 and 26 says riches and strength lift up the heart but the fear of the Lord is above them both there is no want in the fear of the Lord and it needeth not to seek help right so he's saying that the fear of the Lord is above riches and strength Right, because you have fear of the Lord, right? You know, and, and when, when we're in our, would you call it, in our fullness in our kingdom, we ain't gonna have no one, why? Right? Because, you know, the Lord chose to deal with us like that, man. Right, says so Romans eleven thirty three says, "Oh, the depth of the riches, both of wisdom and of knowledge of the Most High. How how unsearchable are His judgments and His ways." past finding out right says so all the depth of the riches both of wisdom and knowledge of the most high right basically saying that um these these are riches wisdom and knowledge of the most high are riches right right but then to tie it all up right? it says proverbs 11 and forces riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness delivereth from death right because uh, you know these these uh, so-called Jews they've amassed riches, they've amassed wealth, but what is it gonna be? What is it gonna profit? Right. In fact, while I'm here, that's uh, wisdom five. Right. Says so uh, wisdom five and read seven and eight. Says we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction yea we have gone through deserts where there lay no way but as far as the way of the lord we have not known it right so you know these are you know starting off really with, you know the edomites because and then amalek at the top of that you know because they're you know when you read psalms 83 amalek is a edom is a first nation that's mentioned man only nation that the lord is is going to completely destroy Right, so they've wearied themselves in the way of wickedness and destruction to destroy Jake. Right, but then what does it say in verse eight? It says, "What hath pride profited us, or what hath riches with, what hath, ri what good hath riches with our vaunting brought us? Because they're there, all the riches they've amassed off the backs of slavery, the backs of all the wickedness that they've done to Jake isn't going to mean shit." Right. When you read Revelation eighteen seventeen, it says, "For in one hour, so great riches has come to naught." Right, it's talking about the destruction of America, the destruction of Babylon. Right, the new Egypt. It says, "For one hour, so great riches has come to naught," and that's a literal hour, man. The Lord is going to send missiles to fly over there, right? Um, you know, by the hand of Russia and and you know and her allies. And to be honest, scriptures say that. You know, the, um, what do you call it, even our allies are going to turn against America. They're going to be dropping bombs in America as well. Right? And, all, and, and those 400 or so years of hardcore bondage and slavery to build up, you know, this empire that is America today, that's going to come to naught. That's going to be nothing. Right, so, like I said, I just wanted to... Uh, go into that real quick, you know, just spirit uh, was like, yeah, I just wanted to add some precepts in here, and then I thought, you know, it might be worth doing the video because you know, you heard the the order from the apostle man, you know, we gotta, you know, we gotta sharpen up, do what we gotta do, you know, because this really is the time of the end now, um, you know, we're, we're getting close, we're getting close, and Lord's will, you know, you know, if not, in you know, this end of this year, you know, then Lord will next year. You know, these prophecies are coming to pass, right? So that Lord's will be benefited on the Seychelles one.